Hey everyone, we are here. Uh, we're gonna be starting a new series on renovation um, on the house. We have a bunch of small projects. Uh, the baby is coming in October that we want to get done. Uh, one of them is primarily going to be the spare bathroom and the bedroom. However, today, simplest, easiest fix we're gonna take care of is a leak we have going on on the outside on the well. Um, it's a pretty steady leak. Um, most likely what we're going to be doing is taking off this right here. Uh, we're going to be replacing the washers. I've got a washer kit. Uh, the only downside is, is I do not have a shut off in the actual well to cut the water to the pump. What we're going to have to do is cut the power to the house, um, which will eliminate the, uh, the pump from turning on or stop the pump from turning on. And after that, we're going to pull it out, replace the washer, which is what we think it is, because it is coming from the actual fixture, not from the actual pump plumbing. Um, and we'll see how it goes from there. Alrighty. Well, come and join us again, and I will keep you updated. Alright. Here we go. We got that second one off. We are, well, sort of off. We're working on Getting it off right now. It's super tight on there. It's going to take a little bit. I can only go so far with it. I'm leaving the hose on there to help as a grip. But what you want to go for are these old school ones. Old school. call that faucet. And you want to take off the second washer there. Because that WD-40 spraying out. And it looks brand new underneath. So my only question is, is when it's like this, is it, is the water part, or the electricity for the well hardwired into the actual electrical line, or is it running off the electricity for the house? So the downside is we don't have a water shut off valve inside the well to where I can come and shut this water off in order to do this project. So my thought was, if I um that's a lot of water yep that's fine we just got to get the piece that fit right here you can see it's this here this here let's do this slightly I just need to make sure that to get this done before that electrical part is flooded out, hopefully. Uh huh. Ideally. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, this is gone. And oh, you can see it fucked it out. Where did that part go? Is it right here? No, no. Uh, right here. Right here. Where that screw go? Screw's right there. And put that back in. And we can move the fast. Ah, fuck. Oh. Fuck, 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 get on there. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. That did not go as planned. Okay, so for future reference, 
we need to get a shutoff valve inside this well. Yeah, um, that'd be the, advisable. <laughs> the electricity runs directly in from the power, not from the house main power, which is confusing to me. Although I guess it's really not. When we lose power, we lose water. Yeah, and the whole, um, uh, when we lose power, the whole neighborhood goes out, so. Yeah. Obviously, um, So the main lines would be out. Good news is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, our leak is fixed. The leak is fixed, but now we have it. Flooded. Full of water. So, I'm tempted to tear this whole thing out and just go and buy a cheap well cover for now until we expand the well house. I want to expand it to where we can add electrical plugs here. Going from the electrical from A plug in for the pump to where if we lose electricity, we can start a generator, plug the pump in to where we can still get water to the house. But yeah. I don't know how that's gonna work. Water's going back down. So yeah, the water's going down slowly but surely. Um, let me go ahead and get this snugged on. All right, All right that is tight as well, maybe. I think it's important to lose. What just happened here? There we go. go. Okay, so this piece here needs to get tightened down a little more. Uh, it needs to go smaller. Alright. So, now, we turn it on. It turns on. And we turn it off. It's still dripping. Okay, but from where? The Shipping from there. Okay, so here. what we have to do, we need to, I don't have a way to get in there. I need to loosen this and crank it down in a different direction. So what this does is this unlocks the knob. So when we turn this, it's going to turn on. No. I want to crank this down more. Okay. The ground beetle coming up on me. Yeah, you had it at it for a minute where it wasn't leaking, and then it started again. Yeah. Well, I noticed that the actual faucet system is broke. It's actually broke, um, and that's why it was so hard to fit the washer because it doesn't fit directly in there, don't it? Come on. Careful. Come on. Let it go. Please and thank you. No, it's locked. Okay. Come on, my man. Just Let leave it, go. it like that. leak is just due to well you want to hook up the hose and see if it leaks with the hose on it yeah, it's, the hose. it's right I don't mind it leaking through the hose all right so as long as you can cut the water to the well um it's pretty good you're not going to make too much of a mess however since it is hardwired in and we are we do have electricity to the house right now um, it is pushing out the water pressure. Um, come and show them this. Now it's not leaking through here, uh, which is what that gasket was. So, plumber was going to charge us 100 and was it 38 dollars yeah. to come and replace that. A um, little bit of a mess. So that would have been good for them. They would have known what to do. Um, however, I'm not willing to spend 138 dollars on something I can get a kit from Lowe's for 12.48, and now I have as many washers, as many styles and filters as I want. So the only thing to do now is to take on the water and make sure we have water pressure to the house. All right. All right. How's it looking? Dryer. Pretty darn good. That electric box was well 
insulated at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so one, just a little bit of drip just coming from where the hose is connected right there. Um, that's fine. It looks like it's not quite threaded properly anyway. So that's not too big of a deal. We can always fix that later, but... Uh, I guess everything else looks good. Yeah, that just looks like it's feeding down to there. I don't think it's leaking from here. Um, eventually what they're going to need to do, or what we're going to have to do, is tear out from here. Up. Just replace this whole piece. Um, what I want to do is, where it comes out from down here, I want to extend it this way just a little bit, or extend the actual house itself and put a a break right here now that I know this is directly wired in to the uh, power box and not through the house because what I was thinking was it would go from the electrical components all the way through the house and then back through mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't it just comes straight off. over here yeah um, so if we ever do have to work on something like this or one of these pieces bust all we got to do is come down here shut it off and it's good um, until we get it replaced but that would have been helpful earlier but whoever installed it all those years ago didn't think of that did they no but that's okay anyway all right let's put the cover put back on <laughs> 